about 20 years ago, I had lymphoma and I had chemotherapy, radiation, right here at uh, Staten Island University Hospital. And uh, I guess you could say they saved my life twice. The radiation does not really affect the lymph nodes, but also affects the organs around the lymph nodes in that he developed stenosis of his aortic valve, which is the gatekeeper valve, the most important valve in the heart. And he developed constrictive pericarditis, where the lining of the heart, which is the heart is enclosed in a sac, started strangulating, constricting the heart. I thought I was gaining weight. Uh, I was not. It was a Saturday afternoon and we were shopping. A general practitioner called and said, you need to get to the hospital immediately. It's life-threatening. Most heart surgery, the risk of mortality in this day and age is about maybe one or two percent. If we had to do the traditional way where we had to fix the aortic valve and relieve the constriction of his heart, uh, his mortality would be close to 60 to 70 percent. That is very high. The concern, the caring, the empathy that these people showed, I can't repay them and they, I owe my life to them. I truly do. We combined a very risky operation and made it a uh, hybrid in that we use a minimally invasive approach. And then once we fixed one part of the heart, we made it less risky for him and did the open surgery after that, after a period of a month. So we staged it. Most cardiologists probably see, in a, in a lifespan of about 30 years, probably see something as extensive as uh, Mr. Dorso's problem, maybe once in a lifetime, maybe not even that. Life is back to normal. It's an amazing perspective. You're looking into your chest and he has his, your heart in his hand. And it's my chest, it's my heart, his hands. And the heart looked like it, it took a drink, like a sponge. It went, it just filled up with blood. And then it pumped and you could see it pumping. Amazing, amazing.